Hello, and welcome to our new blinger slinging with NJ. Please subscribe and thumb up this video. I'm Erica, and in this video, I will show you how to upload your rhinestone SVG using the scale software. I am using a Mac computer. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go to my launch pad. Click open shortcuts a lot. We're going to go ahead and select new project. And in the new project, you will have name, mat size, orientation, and units. I'm going to go ahead and call this bling. Okay. The mat size, you have the option of 12 by 12, 12 by 24, 24 by 24. I'm going to keep it at 24 by 24. Click OK. All right, so once this opens up, we're going to go ahead and go to File. We're going to Import. And Import, we're going to go ahead and choose the Rhinestone SVG that we would like to go ahead and open. So I want that, so click open. All right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do, since it's already selected, go ahead and right click on group. Then I'm gonna go ahead and select this one because I don't want I am a slinger. I don't want that one, so I'm going to go ahead and right click, delete. I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to move that up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to right click. And since we don't have the option to group, or ungroup, I'm just going to break it apart. All right, so now you see that it is a solid color. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this out the way. Right click and delete. I'm going to select that again. I'm going to right click, select group, right click again and select merge okay so I have right click grouped it and right click submerged it I'm going to click it back and to the right I'm going to select a different color click on that fill color I'm going to click on the yellow box and I'm going to change it to red because that's what I want. So your old color is yellow, your new color is red. Click OK. And we're going to do the same for this one here. Click on it. Right click. Break it apart. It's going to be a solid color. Go ahead and just move that out the way. Right click, delete. All right, go ahead and select that part. Right click, group. Right click, merge. Okay. I'm going to select it again because I want to change this color. I'm going to go ahead and go over here. And I want this color to be black. The old color is yellow. The new color is black. Click OK. So now it's going to look like
bring it up a little bit it don't have to be exact but this is what I'm going to go ahead and do and this bring that up just a little bit all right so what I'm going to do now I'm going to go back to object I lied sorry I'm going to go ahead and go to file export and I'm going to call this bling dash scale because I know that I didn't already merged everything together and click save I want it to be where the file is already at the format needs to be at SVG click save I want to go ahead and replace it because I did this earlier but I'm going to go ahead and replace it okay so your export option your resolution must be at 72 dpi you must click design space compatible this must be clicked check whatever you want to say but yes it must be checked and then go ahead and click OK all right so now since that is done let's go ahead and go to our Cricut I am using the design space um, version 5.4.10 so I'm going to go ahead and click new object new project new object same thing go to upload I'm going to upload that again I'm going to browse and I'm going to go to the file that I saved it bling slash scale SVG click on that open that up all right so you guys you see the upload image is the same thing we exported from the scale software we're going to click save click on that all right so we're going to bring this down to 25 so we can go ahead and see what we have here all right so what we're going to go ahead and do is unlock and then we're going to go over to ungroup so now everything is ungrouped now we're able to move this up move that over you know we can do whatever we want to do but do not do not touch this because we don't want to resize the rhinestones that has already been placed in this design but what we can do we can go ahead and click ask me unlock and we can stretch this as far as we want it to be but um, I probably do it probably about a two okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go to more so I can see the size of it so my width is about a nine and a half and the height is probably at a two so I'm gonna bring that down to just say a 1.5 okay and then the sling click unlock and then you can bring that down however you want to okay so one thing you want to go ahead and do is make sure you change the color and the reason why I say change the color is that let's go ahead and make this okay so you see how the words and the blink is going to be on the same mat that is not what we want that is not what we want because you're using a rhinestone SVG with vinyl so we're going to go ahead and cancel 
So I know that this color that I'll be using is going to be just say a different color. Just say green, okay? I'm going to change that to, to green as well. Click make it. All right, so now we have three separate mats. All right, so for the first one, we're going to go ahead and just cut our vinyl out. You want to make sure that you're in the cutting area of your mat. So I like to bring mine down over a little bit. And because we're using vinyl, you want to go ahead and mirror your image. Okay. Then you're going to go ahead and click continue. You're going to go ahead and uh, go through the process of that. I'm not cutting tonight, so we're not going to actually see it. But, you know, just telling you. Now we're going to go to the first part of the bling. Again, always move it down. Move it over a little bit. And when you're cutting in rhinestone on your sticky flock, your template, um, they have a lot of names. It's, the color is either pink, blue, orange, black. Make sure you do not mirror your image. When you're cutting the rhinestone template, you do not um, mirror your image. So then you go ahead and continue. Okay. So we're not cutting again. So we're going to cancel that. And the same thing with the black. We're going to make sure we come down a little bit and over. Do not mirror this image. We're using, again, we're using the, the sticky flock, the stencil material. But if you was using HTV vinyl or you're using holographic glitter, you will mirror the image because it's just like making a regular t-shirt. You will go ahead and mirror that. Again, you will go ahead and mirror it if you're not using the rhinestone um, the rhinestone stencil flock okay all right guys hopefully this video give you the information that you have been looking for to import and export your rhinestone SVG file to the Cricut design space Again, I am Erica. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up.